Hi, this is Mac Bolin from IllinoisMapMen.com. I'm bringing you a preview for the Clash 13. Now you may notice I'm wearing black in honor of that Monday following the end of the NFL season. Or, if you're a Bears fan, the thank God it's over with day. Okay, before I get started, I'd just like to uh, give a shout out to Montini Catholic from Illinois. They're going to be participating in the Cheesehead in Kakwana, Wisconsin. Good luck to Izzy and his boys. Now, the Clash National High School Wrestling Duels, this edition, it's annual, this edition is Clash 13, takes place in Rochester, Minnesota. It's very unique format in that unlike an individual tournament, this is a dual meet tournament. 32 teams divided up into four eight-team brackets, taking place over Friday, 2nd of January, and Saturday, the 3rd of January. Now, seeded 1 through 32, teams are placed in four brackets, A, B, C, and D. These brackets are contested in several rounds, two brackets in the uh, morning session, and then two brackets in the evening session. Three rounds per session. Per, per session. 9 a.m., 11 a.m., 1 p.m., 4 p.m., 6 p.m., 8 p.m. Speaking of which, guys who organize a tournament, can we please change the afternoon session to 3, 5, and 7? Because by the time you get out of the 8 o'clock session, all the bars, I mean all the restaurants, are practically closing by the time you get out of there. Now, following Friday's competition, teams that win advance and teams that lose drop into consolation. Based on bracket winners and losers is how they assign the brackets for the second day. For instance, you win the bracket, following day you go to the championship bracket. If you lose in the semifinal, you go to the second bracket. In the, if you lose in the finals, you go to the second bracket. Semifinal losers drop down and wrestle for third bracket, and then consolation places play all the way out to eight brackets. So it's very possible for a team on the first day to go 3-0 and or a team to go 0-3. Now the second day, brackets are assigned 1 through 8, 1 being the championship bracket, second bracket, etc. The bottom brackets, the bottom four brackets are contested same time frame in the morning session and then the top brackets are contested in the evening session. The difference is now the format is broken up into a round robin. So those top four team bracket winners in the championship bracket will wrestle like a quad, a round robin, one through three. It is entirely possible to have a team in the championship bracket go 0 and 3 and the other three teams go 2 and 1. This happened two years ago in Clash 11 where it comes down to those three teams that went 2 and 1, it comes down to criteria. That year, St. Michael Albertville won the Clash based on criteria. Okay, next I will go into specific brackets. Okay, we're going to start with bracket A. Top seed in bracket A and overall number one seed for the tournament, Oak Park River Forest High School from Illinois, currently ranked, depending on which uh, ranking you go by, either Intermat or Flow Wrestling, number two, number three in the country. Also the top ranked 3A team in Illinois and winners of the uh, Rex, Rex, Rex Whitlatch Tournament last weekend, prior to that finished third at the Ironman. They'll be facing Pleasant Valley, Iowa, first round. Then you drop down to Simley, Minnesota, which is the number one ranked 2A Minnesota school, and they're facing Minnesota, Minnesota, which is the number one ranked Class 1A school in Minnesota. Going down the bracket, Shakopee, Minnesota, facing Wasatch, Utah, 
And then the bottom bracket, the number two seed, Union, Iowa, facing Kenyon, Wanamingo, Minnesota. I like Oak Park River Forest High School to advance the finals and win this bracket. Uh, Union, Iowa does have a couple of nationally ranked kids. Uh, I think they will probably meet Oak Park River Forest in the bracket finals. Next, we'll go on to bracket B. Okay, on to bracket B. Top seed in bracket B, St. Peter's Prep from New Jersey, a nationally ranked team. And they'll be facing Parkston, South Dakota. Parkston, South Dakota, the reigning state champ in that state. Moving on down, Marist, Catholic of Illinois, will be facing Vacaville, California. Marist last year was the dual team state runner-up. Carl Sandberg will be facing Grand Island, Nebraska. Carl Sandberg, currently the number three ranked team in Class 3A in Illinois and finished runner-up at the Rex Whitlatch Tournament last weekend. Totino Grace, Minnesota facing Minnesota, uh, Minnesota facing the number two seed in the bracket. St. Michael Albertville from Minnesota. Of course, uh, this is the number two ranked Class 3A team in Minnesota. As I mentioned before, they were winners of uh, Clash 11 and finished second at the Minnesota Christmas Tournament behind Apple Valley. This should be a very competitive bracket in that uh, Carl Sandburg, nationally ranked, Marist was nationally ranked dropout. Both are very good dual meet team lineups. St. Peter's Prep also tough. St. Michael Albertsville could come down to probably a very, very uh, competitive semifinal and uh, final. In this case, uh, it's tough to call. Uh, it's very possible Sandberg, even though they don't have any ranked wrestlers in the lineup, at one time they did have Louis Hayes at 106 and uh, Rudy Yates 126, but they have a solid lineup and it's very possible that Carl Sandberg could advance all the way to the championship bracket. One thing's for sure, there'll be a great rematch between Sandberg and St. Michael Albertsville should they advance to the semifinals. Okay, on to bracket C. Bracket C. Top seed in bracket C, Apple Valley, Minnesota. Apple Valley last year were the winners of the Clash. Also winners of Class 3A Minnesota State Championship. Winners of last weekend's Minnesota Christmas Tournament. They'll be facing Grant, Fox Lake Grant of Illinois, first round. Glenbard North, also from Illinois, will be facing Prior Lake, Minnesota, first round. And I like this as one of the better first round matchups of the entire tournament. Next, Minneapolis from Iowa, facing Jefferson, Georgia. Jefferson, Georgia, the defending, and I think something like seven time in a row state champ from Georgia. On down below, number two seed, Boundbrook, New Jersey, facing Jackson County Central from Minnesota. This also could shape up to be a very interesting uh, trip towards the finals here. You could end up with Apple Valley facing Glenbard North in the semis and one of those two teams, then facing Boundbrook, New Jersey, most likely in the finals. I like Apple Valley. They're, they've got a pretty strong lineup up top, but Boundbrook, New Jersey also has a lot of balance. Deep lineup, Glenbard North, a wild card in this one. I, I do like Apple Valley, though, to win this bracket and advance to the championship bracket. So, next on to bracket D. And now, final bracket, bracket D. The number one seed in bracket D, Marmion Academy of Illinois, Last year, finished third in Class 3A dual meet state. Coming off of a win at the Dvorak Memorial last weekend. However, somewhat banged up. They'll be facing LCWM, Minnesota. Moving on down, Hastings, Minnesota, facing Cedar Rapids, Jefferson of Iowa. Then another Illinois team, Rockton, Hananiga. They'll be facing Anoka, Minnesota. Now, Rockton, Hananiga finished fourth in dual team state last year. And on the bottom, your number two seed in the bracket, Bettendorf, Iowa, facing Adrian, Minnesota. 
Injuries are probably going to play a big part in both Rockton Hananiga and Marmion Academy's success. Marmion Academy, last time I uh, heard, had three guys out, which include nationally ranked Lucas Warren at 220, their 106, and their 113 pounder. Uh, I still like them to make it all the way to the finals. However, if they are not 100%, I do not think they're going to be able to handle a very deep and talented Bettendorf, Iowa lineup. Rockton Hananiga, at full strength, has a depth in lineup to possibly test the Bulldogs. Question being, they had three guys out at the uh, Rock at the uh, Dvorak uh, Memorial last weekend. Don't know if they're all back in the lineup yet, but all three of them were key players and state placers. Rockton Hananiga, if they're at full strength, has the kind of depth and lineup to test Bettendorf. If not, then I like Marmion Academy and Bettendorf in the finals in what could probably be the most competitive final matchup, again, given the uh, health of Marmion Academy. Marmion Academy is 100%. I like them to advance. If not, then I think Bettendorf, Iowa will, uh, will make it to the championship bracket. Okay, and that's going to wrap up the uh, brackets. I'll move on next to the uh, individuals, the individuals at uh, individual weight classes. Although the clash is all about the teams, dual team championship. Uh, in fact, if you look at Intermats, Fab, Intermats Fab 50 teams ranked nationally, ten of them are participating in this year's clash. Despite that fact, there are several potential individual matchups throughout the two days of competition. Starting at 106 pounds, nationally ranked individuals, you have Anthony Madrigal from Oak Park River Forest, Kirk Johansson from Glenbard North. At 113 pounds, Jason Renneria, runner-up at uh, the Ironman a few weeks ago, also from Oak Park River Forest. Austin Gomez from Glenbard North, and Alec Kelly from St. Peter's Prep. At 120 pounds, Alex Madrigal from Oak Park River Forest. At 126, number one ranked and returning state champ Mitchell McKee, St. Michael Albertville, and Alex Lloyd of Shakopee. At 132 and 138, no, no nationally ranked wrestlers. At 145 pounds, we have three of the top five ranked in the country. Larry Early, Oak Park River Forest, Freddie Stroker from Bettendorf, and Max Thompson from Union. 152 pounds, number one ranked in the nation, Isaiah White, Oak Park River Forest. At 160, Dayton Racer from Bettendorf, and Matt Rundell from Oak Park River Forest. Interestingly, Last year's clash in the finals between Apple Valley and Oak Park River Forest came down to a match between these two at the at a 152-pound weight class to decide the dual meet. 170 pounds, probably the most loaded weight class at the clash. You have number one ranked at 170 pounds and number one ranked pound for pound nationally Standout Mark Hall from Apple Valley, Kamal Bay, Oak Park River Forest High School, runner-up at the Ironman, Josh Galdi from Bound Brook, Jacob Holschlag from Union, and Luke Norland from Jackson County Central. Moving down to 182, Keegan Moore, also from Jackson County Central, Caleb Little of Jefferson, Nathan Traxler, Marmion Academy, and then Tyler DeMoss of Rockton, Hananiga. Uh, DeMoss could be at either 182 or 195. At 195, you have number one ranked in the country, Lance Benick, Totino Grace, who recently at the finals of the Minnesota Christmas Tournament dislodged previously number one ranked 195 pound Bobby Stevenson from Apple Valley. And then on top of that, you have Stephen Holloway of... Minneapolis. 220 pounds, Gable Stevenson from Apple Valley. 
Riley Striefel from Prior Lake, Kristen Colucci, St. Peter's Prep, and again, if he's healthy, Lucas Warren from Marmion Academy. Down to heavyweight, two guys nationally ranked, Alex Hart from Prior Lake, and Brady Reef from Parkston. That'll wrap up the notable individuals. Okay, there are probably a few favorites uh, to win the tournament. I figure in order to accurately predict a winner, I've come up with this formula where you have the 14 weight classes multiplied by the number of nationally ranked individuals per team plus the number of state ranked individuals divided by two divided by team national ranking minus state ranking divided by two multiplied by class 3A, 2A, 1A Take that information and then plug it into this matrix and, no, nah, I'm just kidding. The team that wins this is going to be the team that wrestles the best. And that'll wrap it up. Just a reminder to everybody, you can catch all the action at Clash 13 live on FlowWrestling.com with your paid subscription to Flow Pro. This is Mac Bolin, IllinoisMatMen.com, and this Clash Preview is brought to you by GEI Wrestling Apparel. You want it? Go earn it.